If the distance of a point from the points 2 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 are in the ratio 2 is to 1, then find the locus of the point. So once again read the problem. If the distance of a point from the points 2 comma 1 and 1 comma 2. First we have to draw on 2 comma 1. So x equal to 2, y equal to 1. So uh, this is the coordinate point. A is 2 comma 1. And 1 comma 2 means x equal to 1, y equal to 2. So another point B is 1 comma 2. Next we have to fix the any other point P of x1 comma y1 in the plane. So anywhere in the plane or in the ratio is 2 is to 1. So the ratio is a uh, first one is uh, 2 and the second ratio is 1. So the first uh, line the distance of uh, P A. So P A can be P A is P A ratio is 2 and uh, P B ratio is 1. So this is a P A given problem is given ratio P A is to P B equal to 2 is to 1. Finally we have to compute the locus of the point. So P A is to P B means P A B P B equal to 2 by so the cross multiplication, so 1 into PA is PA and PB into 2 is 2PB. So PA equal to 2 times of PB. So the first line from PA, point P to A, it can be taken as P is X1, Y1 and A point is 2, 1. So first point is X1, Y1, second point is X2, Y2. Applying the distance formula for PA is root of X1 minus X2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square equal to 2 times of the same, the same distance formula for pb is root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus 2 into y1 minus y2 whole square. So uh, square root of x1 minus x2 value is uh, 2. So x1, x1 minus 2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 is uh, 1. So y1 minus 1 whole square equal to 2 times of square root of PB point can be taken as this is a PA point, this is a PB point. So x1 minus x2 value is 1. So we have to set 1. x1 minus 1 whole square plus y1 minus 2 whole square. So squaring on both sides, square root is cancelled. So x1 minus 2 whole square plus y1 minus 1 whole square equal to squaring on both sides. So 2 square is 4 into x1 minus 1 whole square plus y1 minus 2 whole square. Again applying the a, a minus b whole square formula. x minus x minus x1 minus 2 whole square plus y1 minus 1 whole square equal to 4 times of this. So x1 square a minus b whole square formula. So a square minus 2ab. So minus 4x1 plus 4 and uh, again a minus b whole square formula a square minus 2ab plus b square so y1 square plus 2y1 plus 1 equal to 4 times of again a minus b whole square formula x, x1 square minus 2x1 plus 1 and y1, y1 minus 2 whole square is y1 square minus 4y1 plus 4 so the, all the terms are multiplying by 4 so 4x1 square minus 8x1 again 4 4y1 square minus 16y1 and 16 right hand side. Left hand side is same. So we have to take adding these two values. 4 plus 1 is 5. Remaining things are same. So x1 square minus 4x1 minus 2y1 plus y1 square plus 5 equal to 4x1 square minus 8x1 plus 4y1 square minus 16y1 plus 20. So x1 square minus 4x1 minus 2y1 plus y1 square plus 5 this all the terms are taken in left hand side. So minus 4x1 square plus 8x1 minus 4y1 square plus 16y1 minus 20 equal to 0. So x1 square 
and uh, first one is x1 square. The remaining terms are taken in for minus 4x1 square. So x1 square minus 4x1 square is minus 3x1 square. And uh, minus 4x1 again 8x1 is 4x1 and minus 2y1 and 16y1 uh, is 14y1 and y1 uh, second one next value is uh, 4y1 square minus 4y1 square is minus 3y1 square last one is 5 minus 20 is minus 15 equal to 0 so dividing throughout by minus 1 so minus 3x1 square change it into plus so 3x1 square plus 3y1 square minus 4x1 minus 14y1 plus 15 equal to 0 so the locus can be taken as um, 3x square 3y square minus 4x minus 14y plus 15 equal to 0 hence the